New at 10 tonight, we are hearing from a 74 year old robbery victim. She says she is scared and angry after she was attacked in broad daylight this weekend. KTVU's Amber Lee joins us now. She's in Oakland tonight after speaking with the victim about what happened. Amber. Julie, the woman tells me she's speaking out to raise awareness. She suspects she was targeted because she's an older woman walking alone. I love this area. I mean, Rockridge just is just a small business mecca. But Mary, who asked us not to show her face, was attacked and robbed just steps from her Rockridge home around 1.30 Saturday afternoon. The 74-year-old tells me she was walking home after doing some shopping when someone came up behind her. It threw me into the bushes, essentially. Over here. Yeah, which kind of broke my fall. And I started screaming. I started fighting. I tried to scratch him. I tried to punch him. But then a second man came up. At that point, they sliced through the strap of my purse because I felt the tension release on that purse. This is video shot by a neighbor of the suspect vehicle, a silver Honda Accord. It captured a glimpse of one of the thieves getting into the car. Mary says both men wore red hoodies and black masks. She describes them as being young, 19 to 25 years old. I hear, again, help and screaming, and I just run down, you know, the stairs. And then I see my neighbor, you know, like filled with, you know, leaves. Kira Chin says thefts and break-ins have become all too common. It doesn't surprise me because uh, we've had people break in my place like a few times. Mary posted about the robbery on social media and neighbors found her purse and cell phone about a mile away. Still missing are her house keys, car fob, ID and credit cards. Grateful she was not injured and thankful for her neighbor's help. I am going to walk around here. This is my neighborhood. This is where I live. You can't get run out of town by thugs. Here's another look at the getaway car. The California license plate is 7HIW530. Mary says the getaway driver is a woman and that there was another man in the car in addition to the two thieves. She says police did respond quickly. I reached out to Oakland police. They told me due to the holiday, they will get back to me tomorrow. Julie? And they didn't say if it was a stolen car or not, because if they have the license plate, you would think that they can find out who owns the car. That's exactly why I, I reached out to Oakland police, but they said they needed time to reach out to investigators and they would circle back with me. All right. Well, hopefully they can find some answers as to who did that. Amber, thank you.